All right, so uh, my truck's a 2006 F-150 and I needed to do a third brake light. We got a bunch of hail damage. Really big, biggest I've ever seen. Um, so this is the cheapest one you can get off of Amazon. Looks like a seal and then another seal maybe. Instructions, some grommets, and then this. The old the old third brake light's clear. This one's this one's like gloss black, kind of fingerprinty. Um, these are LEDs for the, I think these are, these lights come on when you open the cab. And then this, I don't know if you can see it. It's like an American flag kind of. Uh, didn't really care about, it's cool, I guess, but I just bought the cheapest one. I think shipped, this was less than 40 bucks. And O'Reilly's wanted something like, like 120 for their cheapest one. So I know Amazon stuff, eBay stuff is notorious for getting water inside of it and then it'll get foggy. Um, people will have, you can take it apart and then seal it yourself. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to put it in. Uh, but I think all you need is just a Phillips. I think it's just two screws and a clip. So let's go out to the old light and put in the new one. All right. There's the old light. It's a, uh, yeah, huge hail. You might be able to see it on my roof a little bit. It's the roof and then the hood is all messed up, but this light, oh geez, totally gone. Yeah, just two, two screws and then it should pull out. Now I'm wondering if I bought the right light. All right, so this just has light bulbs that go into the back of this, and then the connector for the new one is just this three pin. Um, but I think if you pull, can you see that tab right there? Well, if you if you cut that, then all of this harness should plug into here. So let me get back there and try to get the harness. All right, so once you cut that tab off, you kind of got to cut it and then push it in. You can see the rest of this harness will come through, ideally, hopefully. Oh, there's not enough room. All right, so we got to disconnect it through that hole. All right, old harness. And then now we got that new one sticking out. So we just gotta plug this in and then put the gasket around it. Uh, you should probably clean this up, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put the gasket on it and then screw it in. There you go, that should work. All right, now this just, this just goes on here, I guess. It fits. Huh? Okay. Yeah, that fits okay. Then we just put the put the bolts in and that's it. And then the last thing it came with these little stickers to put over the bolts. Actually, these are washers. These are rubber washers to help with drainage or to help with waterproofing. So I got to take these bolts out and put it back in. But this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm sure it'll work well until it starts to fog up. It, this is the cheapest one you could possibly buy. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.